Hello friend and thank you for tuning in. My name is Tabel Carrizales from stockmusiclicensing.com. Now today I'm going to show you how to do a bumper. On my last video I showed you how to do a stinger and uh, I'll put a link around here so you can go and check out that video. Now a stinger and a bumper they're really similar in terms of uh, of edits, uh, but the main difference between a stinger and a bumper is that the bumper is uh, slightly longer in time and it could be all the way up to 15 seconds. Whether it's a stinger, it's a more like a four, five, even seven second uh, seconds uh, kind of edit. Now, we're gonna be using the same music track for the sake of, uh, of the tutorial so you can go and compare uh, both. You can hear the stinger, you can hear what the bumper uh, is. So it's gonna be a very similar uh, kind of edit but we're just concerned with uh, the length. In this case, it's gonna be, we're gonna have a little bit of more flexibility. And, and this is something that I wanna uh, address here, that the shorter the, the actual edit is, the harder it is to do. And the reason why is because uh, we don't have much time to, to really uh, put all of the elements of, of the musical uh, melody or motif and, and, and really, because I'm working here with the final product, which is just a, the final stereo file, I'm not working with the session, the open session, with when I have all the, the, the elements, the drums, the bass, and the, the guitars, and the pianos. Uh, it could be a little bit harder when it comes to, to doing uh, this kind of edits. Uh, and like I said to you, the stinger is probably harder to do than the actual bumper. The bumper is gonna be uh, slightly longer, and 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 it's a little you will have a little bit more flexibility uh in terms of uh making sense musically okay so let me show you what i mean by that okay so we have the same music track i'm just going to play very quickly so you can listen to it again much that will be my my bumper more or less that section uh, the first thing I would like to do here is to put time because I want to make sure that I can measure the time uh, so I'm gonna go and do the same procedure I'm gonna go all the way to the end and find my my ending uh, I already know that it's around here but I have that symbol let me see how can I find that I find this uh, by transients again so I might want that last hit. So I'm going by transient here. So I have my end in here. And I want to decide uh, again the beginning or, or where I want them to, to, to join or, or merge, if you will. Okay, somewhere around there. I think that could be where they can meet. So again, by transient. So I'm gonna cut this, make all of this disappear. Bear with me a little bit here. And let's see how this sounds. And as well, let's see in terms of length. Uh, but like I said, with a bumper, I'm a little bit, I have a little bit more flexibility, but let's see how they, they meet. Okay, I think it's quite <laughs> a smooth. This one was a quite, quite, quite easy to do. I still want to make sure that there's no pops here. So what I do, just as, a, as an engine, zoom in a little bit more. And let's do a little bit of a fade, cross fade. I'm going to listen to it from the beginning, okay? Finishes the last hit is around fifteen seconds. So, so this this one was really easy. Okay, really easy to do because the, because of the chord progression, uh, it's very easy to, to to. It just flows naturally. So the bumper is easier to make, uh, and in this case, this particular track had only a, a few chords. 
uh, in the intro, which is the, the perfect length for, for a bumper. So I'm very happy with the length with this particular bumper. And, and the main thing here is that uh, the resolution of the last note and the whole chord progression is uh, much more natural than, than the Stinger. But with the Stinger, and, and the Stinger as well could be, uh, because it's so short, it, it, at times it could be a little bit uh, abrupt when it comes down to the resolution of the of the musical phrase or, or the motif or the chord progression. And it's something that you have to exercise and, and really uh, do it again and again and again. I, I know a lot of... Uh, uh, you guys uh, have reached out with private messages and and comments and, and whatnot, and and really struggling with uh, actually doing this kind of edits. And the best way to do this is to uh, to, to practice again and again and again, and really try to. Uh, apart from being uh, really aware of the time length of this edit, is to actually as well be aware of uh, how the the chords and, and the and the music and the motif and the melodies. Uh, makes sense. So again, uh, when doing uh, edits like this, the shorter the edit, the harder it is to make the edit because you have to condense everything, all the information of that music uh, piece in such a short time. So that's very hard to do. So that's why I, I highly recommend to go back and check out the, the, the last video I made about stingers of how to make a stinger so you can practice and compare the stinger with this bumper, which they all, and I'm doing it with the same uh, track so you can see uh, how uh, this music uh, sounds uh, with the same track, okay? So it, it's very, very similar. It's just a matter of length. And, and, and with this bumper, it's just a matter of... Uh, I, 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 there's more flexibility. And, it, and it's not that complicated. You just have to know where the actual... Uh, where you meet both, okay? The beginning and the ending of the edit. And, and I usually, in this case, I usually start by, by, by editing the, the ending. I go to the end and find that uh, resolution, what is called the bottom <laughs> ending, because it's a, it's a well-defined ending. So once you find that chord, that last hit, you, you, you edit that or you cut it, and then you're, you, you will be able to, to find the, the beginning of the song or the beginning of that track, the music piece, and then merge them. And, and, and that's where you're concerned now that you have the ending and you have uh, you have the ending and you have the beginning and and you're just concerned on how can they meet and at times you, you might have to to reduce a little bit of the the beginning uh, uh, but the ending is usually stays the same okay if you get the ending part right the last hit uh, is just a matter of, of finding how they both meet and, and I usually tell my students that the best way to think of, uh, of this kind of edit is, Think as you, of, you, of your music as uh, two different parts that they have to merge, they have to make, they have to fit uh, like like almost like Lego parts. And uh, <laughs> I'm using Lego parts because uh, I have kids and I have a lot of uh, Lego things and they put together. So they, they have to fit perfectly, almost like a puzzle of, of, as well, if you will. And they do fit. Sometimes the chord progression is a little bit odd or it might be a little bit, uh, it might sound weird to you because you're used to listening to the full version of, the, of your track. But more often than not, you will see that it will make sense because it's the same chords. It's just how they fit together in a different arrangement. So anyways, uh, thanks a lot for all the love and support. Thanks for watching these videos and for the feedback. Uh, I'm going to be doing more videos like this in terms of editing. And what I'm going to do actually with these two edits, I'm going to be uploading them to, to Pond5 as individual files. Uh, and uh, see how they perform. See if we can get some sales going. And do the whole process really. Uh, edit this uh, particular track and, and upload them and, and, and expect to get some, some sales. Uh, if you are somebody that is new to stock music and you want to get started doing uh, royalty-free music, uh, download my free guide. A link is in the description. And it's a, a free guide for you uh, to get the ball rolling, really, and, and get involved in uh, selling your music on stock libraries. Uh, again, if you are new to the channel as well, uh, please subscribe and uh, share this video with somebody that might need this kind of information. Uh, I try to make this kind of uh, video tutorials as simple as possible. Uh, check the other videos I have concerning stock music on the channel. And uh, as always, rock and roll, and here's to your success.